Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2009 American adventure comedy film called Year One. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. A tribe of cavemen are hunting a boar in the forest. It is startled and they give chase. At the last minute, Zed throws a spear and hits another member of the tribe. They are pretty angry that his actions allowed the beast to escape and Marlak, the leader, snaps his spear in two. O is gathering berries. Zed reveals to him that his spear is broken and O asks what happened. Zed goes to talk with Maya. She tells him that he makes her laugh, but she needs a real man to take care of her. Marlak presents Maya with the hunted boar, but she is not really impressed. O complains that Ima, the girl he likes, doesn't even acknowledge his existence. Zed tells O that he plans to change his mindset, and they go to the Tree of Knowledge, where he plans to eat the forbidden fruit. Zed wonders why it is forbidden, and suspects that it is magic fruit, and could make him the smartest man that the village has ever known. He thinks that the villagers would bow down to him, and Maya would stay with him. Against O's advice, Zed takes a bite and says that he feels more intelligent. O starts to ask him questions, but still cannot answer. Suddenly, O feels a snake on his foot and asks what he should do. Zed cannot think, so he decides to eat more fruit instead. That night, Zed still feels that he is smarter and starts to question everything that he sees in front of him. O dances in front of Ima, but she continues to ignore him. He hits her on the head with a stick, but she hits him back. Marlak accuses Zed of eating the forbidden fruit and puts him before exiling him. Zed claims that he is leaving because he wants to and offers anyone to join him in starting a new tribe, but no one steps forward. As he leaves, he accidentally sets fire to a hut and is chased away by Marlak. Marlak decides that it is time he killed Zed, but he is hit over the head by O. Zed is delighted that O chose to join him, but O reveals that he actually lost everything in the fire. Zed tells him that this is a great opportunity. Suddenly, they are attacked by a cougar. They run away. The following day, Zed is cooking while O gathers sticks. O is unhappy because he was injured by the cougar. Despite this, O still agrees to travel with Zed. They plan to walk the world to find out if it ends. As they reach the mountains, Zed is thrilled to learn that the world continues. They stumble upon some cows, but Zed is unable to kill one. They are approached by some farmers named Cain and Abel, who ask what they are doing. The farmers are brothers, who argue with each other. Cain accuses Abel of acting superior, and they start to fight. Ultimately, Cain kills Abel, but tells Zed and O that it was self-defense. He threatens them not to tell anyone and invites them to dinner. They say that they already have plans, but he looks at them menacingly, so they agree to join him. They go to his village on a cart and are impressed by the wheels. They do, however, suffer from travel sickness. At dinner, Cain's father asks where Abel is. Cain says that he does not know, but his sister Lilith says that she saw them arguing in the field. Cain tries to make excuses and storms off. His father tells Zed that they can stay and he can sleep with Lilith. O can stay with his son Seth. Zed goes with Lilith, who tells him that she doesn't like men. He says that he doesn't know what that means, so she spells it out to him. He still doesn't understand. O is in the bed with Seth, who keeps acting silly. The following day, Zed and O thank them for the sleepover. The villagers search for Abel. Cain tells Zed and O that they should leave with him because when they find the body, they are bound to start pointing fingers at the drifters. The villagers find Abel and chase after Cain, Zed, and O on a cart. They are overwhelmed at the speed of the chase. Suddenly, Cain is struck on the head by lightning. His only concern is that it has left the mark on his forehead. They reach the port and explore the market. They stumble upon an imprisoned Marlak, Maya, and Ima, who explain that the village was raided after the fire and they were sold as servants. O says that it is such a coincidence that they are meeting again, but Zed believes that this has happened for a reason. 
God wanted them to have the knowledge of good and evil. Zed and Oa approach and ask if they want to buy the servants. Cain intervenes and speaks with the traitor, whilst Zed promises that he will get the girls out of there. However, Cain sells Zed and O, and they are auctioned off as slaves as well. As all the slaves are transported away, they are ambushed by Roman soldiers who kill the captors. They take the slaves for themselves, but Zed and O escape into the desert. They plan to rescue Maya and Ima when the Romans rest, but they fall asleep instead and the Romans move on. They head towards Sodom, but on the way, they stumble upon a man named Abraham who is about to kill his son Isaac. Abraham asks why they interfere and if they were sent by the Lord. Zed says that yes, they were, and so Abraham takes them to his tent. Abraham prays with his kinsmen and tells them of the debauchery that lies in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Zed inquires as to which is worse, so that they know to avoid. Outside the tent, Abraham impresses them with the area of land of which he owns. However, Isaac reveals that God hasn't told anyone else as they are at war with someone else every day. Abraham tells that he still wins the battles and so, in praise, he will circumcise all the assembled males. He has to explain what he means, but as he goes to get his good knife, Zed and O run away to Sodom. They can hear Isaac screaming in the distance. Later on, they are joined by Isaac, who asks to go with them to Sodom. They arrive, but are apprehended by the Roman soldiers, although Isaac manages to run away. The commander is woken and is angry. He is about to do something awful to them when they are interrupted by Cain, who appears to save them. He suggests that they join the guards. They line up with the other guards and are instructed to walk around looking for trouble and thieves. The king is distressed as it hasn't rained for days. A high priest reads the entrails, but the guards think that maybe it's time for a new high priest. The priest produces some knives and dares them to replace him. Princess Inanna is carried through the city. The people all fall to the ground, but Zed just stands there and bows. Cain drags him to the ground and tells him that she is royalty. They head to the temple to see her. She appears to care for the poor people. It is explained to Zed that they are selecting a virgin to present to the gods in order to make it rain. A girl is selected for that later. A girl approaches Zed and O and takes them to see the princess. O is left with a eunuch while Zed is taken to a wasted party. The girl reveals herself to be Maya, who is angry that Zed is trying to get with the princess. As he looks around, he realizes that the statues are actually people painted gold, and one of them is O. He suddenly spots Ima. Zed saves her from being struck by a guard and sends her to wait with O. Suddenly, Maya appears and tells Zed that the princess wants to see him. He tries to reassure her that he is not interested in the princess and he is going to get them all out of there. O walks around and is ordered to rub the high priest with oil. Ima sees him and he tries to make excuses. Zed is with the princess. She tells him that she was impressed that he didn't fall into the ground this morning. It was refreshing to find someone who has the courage to question the order of things, a man chosen by the gods to do something great. She tells him to follow her. Meanwhile, O is with the high priest. He takes him to the Holy of Holies and explains that entry means immediate death. He then takes him away to receive another private hot oil rub. The princess takes Zed to the Holy of Holies and tells him that she wants him to enter and speak to the gods. She explains that it is instant death to all but the high priest, but as the chosen one, he should be fine to enter and plead with the gods to end the famine. He agrees, as long as she agrees to let his friends go. As he enters, he begs the gods not to kill him, but finds that O is already there. They start to argue, but then Zed starts to pray to save his friends and make it rain. O asks if it is quiet in here because God isn't there. Zed scoffs that that means that everything is random. They argue more, and outside the princess can hear them. Zed asks that O just trust him for now, as he thinks that he can save them all with the princess's help. 
As they leave the Holy of Holies, they find a crowd outside waiting. They are imprisoned and continue to argue, but Zed assures them that he will get them out of there if it's the last thing he does. Later, they are brought in front of the king and their crimes are read by Cain. They are sentenced to being stoned to death, but Zed suddenly asks the king why he didn't die when he entered the Holy of Holies. He must be the chosen one. The crowd starts chanting, and the king's advisors advise him not to go against the people's will. Instead, they are sentenced to be enslaved to toil and hard labor until they die. At the slave camp, they find Marlach again. Zed is punished for trying to shirk his duties. The slaves are all taken to see a sacrifice. It is Maya and Ima, and they are to be accompanied by the princess Inanna. The king is annoyed to hear the crowds booing, but Cain insists that they are wooing him, not booing him. Zed jumps down to try and rescue them, but manages to make a structure collapse. O proclaims this is a sign that the Chosen One is coming to end their suffering. The peasants start to revolt. Suddenly, Abraham reveals himself and they join the fight. The guards turn on the king. O saves Ima and they kiss. Zed fights with the guard and is soon joined by O. The high priest tries to kill Maya, but O throws oil at him and he catches a light and burns in the sacrificial chamber. The crowd watches in awe and starts to cheer. Suddenly, it begins to rain for about five seconds. Zed asks if that was a sign from the gods. He says that he should know, as he is the chosen one. The crowd cheers, but as he looks at O and sees the disappointed look on his face, he turns back to the crowd and tells them that he is not chosen. They should all choose their own destinies. They can all be chosen. It starts to rain and the crowd cheers again. The princess is now the queen and Zed hugs her. O plans to return to the village and become the leader with his new girlfriend, Ima. Zed is going to Egypt with Maya. They hug before they head out to build their own destinies. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.